I'm throwing rocks in the woods. You got here just in time. Every night, part of my part of my ritual. It's important to have these little rituals. It's to kind of center you. My centering ritual is to throw rocks in the woods. Actually, into the neighbor's woods. Wow. So peaceful. It's right there. Right there. And then I throw, I throw these little bits of sticks into these fire pits that I make. I just make these fire pits. And the sticks, oh! Oh, you just feel. Stress of the day is gone. Stress of the day is gone. Oh. You know, you hear the parrots above and you just, just let it all go. So, now that I am completely focused, I have this zen-like calm. Wow, that is so beautiful. I'm gonna plant some pak choy. All I gotta do to plant pak choy is to take this little spoon. It's like a child's breakfast spoon. And then I just take out the ones that I want. And yeah, they might not be big enough, I don't know. I think the last ones I planted were about this size. I got them from cell packs. Kind of ridiculous, but we'll just stick them in and we'll see what happens. And we have, you know, plenty more where that came from. So these pak choy, I'm gonna put them in like every 16 inches or so, something like that. And what I'm gonna to try to do is, as I go is to take out areas where there's some some density. And we divide out the the denser areas. So the, re the ones that are remaining in this tray will just continue to get bigger. And I'll just go on down this bed. The pak choy, like I said in a previous video, we've discovered that this is like the tropical green to grow. So I gotta say our mustard is catching up. So we'll see how that how that does as it continues. Some of my kids are like slightly allergic to the pak choy. They don't really like it. And they say it makes their throat scratchy when we cook it. And Rachel used to be somewhat allergic to it too. So I've got to make sure that I have alternate greens. I like to have a wide variety anyways, because you never know. Some year you think, oh, I've got this thing. This thing is the best thing forever and ever, this is always the thing I'm going to grow. And then you'll get a year where it's like, oh shoot. You know, some pest shows up that kills every single one of that thing that you really, really, really love. And then you got nothing. So like when I design a food forest, I'm not like, oh, I just want, you know what? My favorite, my favorite, favorite thing is apples. I'm just gonna plant apples. Now I'm gonna plant pears, I'm gonna plant apples, I'm gonna plant cherries, I'm gonna plant currants plant every single thing that I could plant in that food forest because then you have all kinds of variety and you get a pest or something like that it doesn't take it all out so yeah, that's maybe too much philosophy for you but after throwing all those rocks I'm just feeling it really feeling it I'm gonna finish planting this row guys and then I'm gonna show you what we've been doing because it's, it's actually getting really exciting out here. We've been very, very busy since the last video. And it's about time I show you. So over the last couple of days, I've sifted through all of this compost. This compost came from the huge pile of wood and junk that we had piled up. So when the land for our gardens was cleared, with a bobcat, I just had him push up all the, the wood and trees and leaves and bits and pieces 
And so now we have you know, tons of compost and I've been dumping it on the beds as well. But if you, if you just kind of let something sit and rot for a period of time, eventually it'll turn into compost and that's what we've got. Like this stuff is, this is grade A stuff right here. Lots of uh, tree material, you know, it's really good stuff. It's gonna be very good for the bed. So I'm glad that we did that and just let it rot. It's been a lot of trouble to clear it out of there. Uh, and I'm burning the big stuff, but a lot of it left huge amounts. So we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We got 30 gallons here. I've gotten at least 50 gallons out of it. Some of it's already been distributed. And uh, some of it I took away to make um, potting soil out of. So it's pretty cool. So this whole area here, this was the giant pile of brush and logs and rocks. And we've been taking these huge, been prying big rocks out of the ground. And some of these were already here. These great big ones, obviously, I didn't move. But this guy, I moved. This guy, and this guy. So this is going to be a little rock bed right here. And then we've been dragging the rest of the nice dirt, which is loaded with compost. Like, this is almost all humus right here. This stuff that I'm turning with my feet. This is like both the accumulation that was under the tree for years, plus all the stuff that rotted out of the pile of dirt and sticks and leaves. Like we made a giant compost pile and I know I'm burning some of it up over here, but we've got to get food in the ground. Uh, we're not messing around just in case this thing turns into the stand, you know? So what I'm doing is I've got these beds. These are all new. We've got this row of beds. This is, we're at the very back corner of our property. Bed, 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 bed. So a lot of this is all, this is all new right here. And you can see we put the coffees, these are the seedling coffee uh, transplants. Um, they're just right in the middle of the beds. Eventually this will be all coffee, but uh, we're gonna grow around them as long as they're small and use the space. I also, um, you know, I left the breadfruit over there and I've got these coffee sticks over here, which are mostly growing back. And, and come on around this way, I'll show you. It gets, it gets, it just keeps getting cool. So right through here, uh, there were some, uh, there were some bits of stumps in here that we burned out in between these rocks. And we've been just dragging all the bits and pieces out that, that are in the middle here. And bit by bit, we're trying to burn through like right here. You can see we've been stacking it up around the base of this really hardwood tree that we cut down a few weeks ago and I'm trying to burn the bottom of it out because this is going to be beds as well and from here here's more rocks we pulled these big boulders out uh, this was mostly with the meadow creature we'll pry it up out of the ground a bit and then the kids will jam a rock underneath and we pry it a little higher and they jam another rock and we go to the other side and we pry it higher and we keep filling it up with rocks until we can actually get it to roll out of the out of the hole which is that's, that's an incredible amount of work. But my property line goes down through here and we get sunshine about half the day from the back. And that post right there is the edge of my property line. So I can garden all the way under here in the shade as best as I can because I'll get some late afternoon sun. And after this mango tree produces for this year, I'm taking this, uh, some of the higher overhang down so we can get, uh, we can get it smaller and more under control. It's really doing well. It's bearing, even though we, you know, you saw that video where I pruned it back aggressively. I'm going to prune it even more. I want it to go sideways and not up. Through here, we've got more garden beds we're going to dig. And you take a look at the soil. The soil is incredible. We've done a lot of digging, but it's it's very hard work to, to dig. We're using the grape hoe a lot to drag and dig and drag and dig and drag and dig and make this area into beds. But we've got excellent soil with huge amounts of compost in it. Plus we've got the ashes, which we can spread around all through, which is nice. And you can see over here, this is the rock pile that we have been building up. Um, it's a lot of work pulling rocks like that. That's a ton of rocks, literally a couple of tons probably. Come on through the gardens. You could see the eggplants 
And some beans. Got some more beans. <laughs> the tomatoes are getting big enough to get steak. These are the Heatmaster tomatoes. They're nice and happy. Another row of eggplants here. Put in some pak choy in the middle there. These are, this is the Richard bed, named after uh, Richard Kerr, who sent me, actually sent me a homemade slide guitar. Um, unbelievable. There's my Felco pruners laying in the path. Um, they're kind of expensive. I like to make sure I treat them very well. Uh, now these are Lucid Gem. This is the Richard bed. These are Lucid Gem that are in the Richard bed. And then this is the Karen bed after my wonderful friend Karen Hill. And these are, we just staked these up. We went out into the, the bush and we went hiking and staked all the tomatoes. So the ones on the other side, you could see I put beans into the gaps where there weren't tomatoes because I want to keep stuff in production. But we've got tomatoes left. You know, it looks like some of these tomatoes are really going to pull through and they're doing well. So, yeah, it's coming. Right here we've got our carrots coming up. Uh, the carrots are starting to get in good shape. It's starting to look nice. We've got gaps that, uh, that just sort of happened. And then see these other pak choy. Like I said, they were doing really well. They keep doing well. The okra is starting to make okra. The okras that I put in in between. We'll be getting okra in a couple of days. Kale's looking pretty good. Stuff is starting to recover. I just went ahead and seven dusted the ants that were getting in and destroying the transplants and that has made a huge difference. Multiple of you guys said, just do the seven dust. So I did. And if you look down here, here sweetie, we have bell peppers forming. So these are actually starting to make bells. Looks pretty good. Never had great luck with bell peppers, at least in Florida. They tended to get various issues and have problems, but uh, hey, maybe we'll have good luck here. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. So there's, that's what we've been doing. Very, very busy. But, you know, we've got a ton of garden beds in here. This is the best garden that I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, I, I had good gardens in Florida. I had a great food forest in Florida. But as for just straight up annual gardens, uh, this is this is the best. It's the best soil I've ever worked with and Just a really really good space. You know, this is probably We've got let's see it's 70 70 across by about a hundred deep so uh, Yeah, probably about 7,000 square feet total that we can play with here. That's so pretty good. And it's not, obviously, it's only about half cultivated at this point. Uh, maybe getting up to two-thirds. But soon, we will get all the way down to that property line. Maybe I'll put in a fence or something like that. But it's good to be prepared. And uh, we don't know what's going to happen with this virus. Um, I, uh, I sold the little bit of stock that I had. And uh, I, I firmly believe in uh, getting some gold. Get some gold. It's just a good idea in general. A little bit of silver, too. It's, uh, you know antibacterial, antiviral. Anyhow, you know, just just be prudent, plant up, you know, pray. <laughs> we'll see what happens, but don't worry, don't fear, God is in control, and hey, it's a good excuse to stay home, not go to social functions, and garden instead. There's almost no downside, unless, you know, the infected start coming back from the dead, and then we're all kind of in trouble. Catch you next time. Until then, May your thumbs always be green. Your health privileges have been revoked. Your, 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 your health privileges have been revoked. Your health, 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 health. Privileges. Your health privileges have been revoked. Your 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 your
the dip, by 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 the dip. By locust swarms rising to cover the sky. Globalism has failed, there's a mountain of debt. Mass invasions, it's the great reset. By the dip, 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 by the dip.